Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. I have a bottle of Chilean wine here. Uh, it's uh, Sideral from the uh, Altair estate. Actually, it doesn't say Altair. Uh, on they, 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 they do a couple of wines. One's called Sideral, um, and I think Sideral is... Uh, They've got a picture of, I think that's a Southern Cross, I'm not up on my constellations, uh, but it's it, it, the idea is it's pointing somewhere, I think. Altair is their top wine, this is their second wine down, part of the San Pedro stable, but uh, they run as a separate winery. And um, so this is Cabernet Sauvignon with Syrah and Carbonet, Carbonet well Cabernet Franc and Petit Verdot. I think uh, Cabernet is the dominant one, I think it's more than two-thirds Cabernet. Vintage uh, 2014, and it's from the Cachapoil Valley. Very Chilean in its black current intensity. Uh, it's got a slight imprint of new oak, and it's 2014. It's two and a half years old now, so I don't know how long it's been in those barrel in the barrels that it's, it will have been in. But there's still, still, it still feels like it needs to uh, come out of its shell after having had uh, probably more than a year in, in, in oak. And, uh, but the fruit flavours behind, there is this sweet black currant, classic black currant pastel, as I say, but there's these, these extra uh, spicy edges, partly from the, I think, from the other great varieties, maybe a little bit of terroir talking. Let's taste it. I said I haven't got round to tasting it yet, I'm just sniffing it again. And the more I, 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 I swirl it, the more there are these slightly spicy tobacco notes coming out and I don't know whether that's a bit of the Cabernet Franc talking uh, I don't think there's too much Cabernet Franc in there I, I thought it was mostly uh, it, I thought it was like about 75 Cabernet with and Carbonara and Syrah made up the rest of them but there is some certainly something spicy tobacco like that is uh, jumping out of the glass the more I swirl it we'll get to taste it now young juicy vigorous bold lots of flesh but fresh and it doesn't feel like there's anything there that's out of balance with with anything else. Yes, there is the oak, uh, the oak imprint, and yes, there is this really ripe fruit, but it doesn't feel like they're they're sitting awkwardly together. And there are these spicy notes. And I think with with time, either time when you've uh, decanted it and given it a chance to breathe, or with further time in bottle, I think there's going to be more uh, complexity, more of those smoky, slightly herby characters, which are sitting in the background. I think those are going to come more and more to the front. Uh, as it is now, it's pretty tasty wine, uh, but I think in three or four years' time, and uh, maybe quite a long, long way beyond that, it's going to give even more pleasure than it is uh, doing today. But pretty pretty decent today, and uh, uh, I will... Uh, trouble is, I've got, I, I'm tasting a load of wines today, and the good thing about it is, it feels like it's one of those wines that will be better tomorrow. So I'm, I think I'm going to stick the cork back in and revisit it tomorrow when it shall be showing even better than it is today. Not bad today though. Yeah. See you soon.